Welcome to a special edition of Panda Palace. It may have been a few months, but Lulu has not forgotten what to do in front of the camera. She is clearly still the star of our show. Absolutely, and she was excited to say hello. Penny's also recognizing that there is a camera around, and we might be in need of some boops. She's headed down to say hello now. How you doing, Penny? No, I haven't seen Coco. You know Coco. She tends to be shy. It takes her a while to come out and say hello. She does things on her own timeline. Oh, there's Coco! Psych. No hello for us today. You can always trust that Penny will give us the boots. What's really interesting about the last few months with our Red Panda sisters? Lulu is no longer the boss. No way. Bet you'll never guess who's in charge now. Are you going to tell me, Coco? It's Coco. Then what's Lulu going to do? Just hang around? That was a terrible dad joke. <laughs> We're coming to you with a special edition today because... Today is International Red Panda Day, which started by the Red Panda Network in 2010 started out small, but now it's celebrated by countries all over the world. The Red Panda Network is one of the Akron Zoo's field conservation partners. We financially support various programs through the Red Panda Network to help protect and conserve red pandas as a species in their native habitat. So today at the Akron Zoo, we're focusing on these beautiful animals and also their conservation. You just might get to see a Red Panda training session with Keeper Lisa. Keeper Lisa has worked very hard to develop a bond with these three girls, and it shows by her interactions here. Right now, she is working on targeting the Red Pandas. What that means is she'll ask them to go to a certain spot in the habitat, and then we'll positively reward them with some of their favorite treats. Let me guess. Grapes. Specifically red grapes, because Lulu does not like those green grapes. She's so picky. Now targeting is very important for the health and well-being of the red pandas. If they were ever sick or injured, and the vet staff needed to come check them out, by asking them to target in a specific spot, the vet staff can give them an exam without putting them under anesthesia. Well, we can always rely on Lulu to give us a relaxing pose. Training sessions are a lot of work. I can see that. This is Lulu's favorite spot and position, so when you visit and you see a panda in the tree like that, it's Lulu. Thanks for joining us on Panda Palace!